Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at CameronMC and Z on Twitter, and I wanted to talk to you about garbage collection and specifically what you can do to stop garbage collection or at the very least, turn garbage collection off. Now, technically speaking, you can't force garbage collection on the JVM and you also can't stop garbage collection from happening unless you decide to completely turn it off. And that's what I'm going to do here. As you can see, I've got a for loop here, which creates a bunch of strings and quite unapologetically puts these strings in this innocent little array list here, eventually triggering an out of memory error if we don't have some form of garbage collection to happen, or at least don't clear out that list at some point in time. So I got some code here that says when 85% of the memory is used, I will clear all the stuff out of that array. And theoretically, the garbage collector should come in, take care of all of that stuff, occupying memory and free some space up for me. So if I just run this application, I'll click save and run it as a regular Java application. You'll notice that as soon as it starts up, while well, it starts consuming memory like crazy 30 50 and then when we hit 87 percent here it says do you want to clear the list i'll say okay and then these numbers here 87 percent memory usage should go down didn't garbage collect there but boom it garbage collect there and you can actually see over here yeah the memory went right down to 17 percent the next time we did a little collect and even if you wanted to see a visual representation of that, hey, open up Java Mission Control and you can see there's the amount of Java heap used right there. I click OK, it goes up a little bit. Garbage collection happened, it goes down, doesn't happen, happens, it goes down, doesn't happen, happens. And anyways, you can play with a garbage collector all day if you like. But as you can see, that needle going up and down, that's the garbage collector coming in and taking care of all of that memory that doesn't need to be used anymore. Anyway, so I'm going to kill this application here and I'm going to run this slightly differently. Now that was run with the default. That was run with the basic JVM arguments. So, you know, start off with 256 megs of memory, ended with 512. Now you can do this in JDK 11. Watch this. Double XX unlock experimental VM options and use the Epsilon garbage collector. Now this Epsilon garbage collector doesn't do garbage collection. It is the zero garbage collection garbage collector. So let me start this application again, except use this no GC garbage collector. Run as the no GC memory leak with Epsilon. We will run it here. We do get up to 87% memory. Now what happens if I clear this list, maybe even open up Java mission control and connect to this particular JVM? Well, as you can see, when I click OK and we go up a little bit more, wow, we're up to 91% here and we have not cleared this heap. Now notice we have actually cleared all of the elements in the list. So previously there were 3,800,000 elements in the list. However, I did a clear. I took that number down to just 100,000. That is 3.8 million minus 100,000. So we've cleaned that thing up a little bit, but notice, hasn't changed the memory. The memory is still allocated. There's 3.7 million components that aren't referenced anymore, but they're still occupying memory. And you know what? If I hammer on that OK button again, it's not going to change it. It's just going to take more. So now we're at 95% memory, even though, again, we've cleaned up the list. We've taken all of the objects out of it. None of those objects are referenced by the program. They're not referenced by GC root, but they're not garbage collection. We're at 95% of the heap consumed right now. I'm going to click one more time. It takes us to 97, and I think you know what's going to happen next. We don't have a garbage collector collecting any of that used memory. 99%, that's way Wayne Gretzky saying hello one more time and we're out of memory. And that's what happens with a zero garbage collector. But if you want to turn off garbage collection, if you want to stop garbage collection on the JVM, that's how you can use it. Just use the Epsilon garbage collector. Maybe you've got some microservices, maybe you've got some components and you just want to run a hundred different Docker components with JVMs in them and just have them die when they get to too much memory and then start them up again, hey, go for it. That might be a nice strategy instead of worrying about the stop the world delays all the time. But if you want to stop garbage collection, 
That's the only way to do it, and you gotta stop it permanently. But you can use the Epsilon GC, and that'll make it happen. And there you go, that's how easy it is to stop garbage collection from happening on your JVM. Just use a different JVM garbage collector. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, head over to theserverside.com. I'm the editor-in-chief over there. We've got lots of great tutorials on Java, garbage collector, performance management, anything to do with enterprise software development, really. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on the YouTube.